So you have the ROG Strix B650E-F Wi-Fi gaming motherboard and you want to update the BIOS. You're in the right video. That's what I'm going to cover in today's video. I'm going to show you how to update this BIOS on this particular motherboard. We won't be using the flashback utility today. We will be doing it the manual way. There is a disclaimer I've got to throw out there. This is a tutorial or a how-to or a guide on how to do this. If you decide to do this, you take full responsibility. I am not responsible for anything that may happen in your system. There's a few reasons why I throw that disclaimer out in the beginning of a lot of my videos, especially when you go into the BIOS. There is a good possibility of you messing something up, you hitting a switch, something like that, that I don't show you that may actually harm your motherboard and brick your motherboard. One of the main things when you're updating your BIOS, keep in mind, is to make sure you don't want to lose power. You don't want to lose power because it will brick your motherboard. With this particular motherboard, it ain't a real big deal because it does have the flashback utility where you can flash it without the system being powered up all the way. But still, yeah, it's still a good good concept to keep in mind that you don't want to lose power. You know, make sure your cat or your dog don't unplug your system in the middle of it. Make sure you don't do it in the middle of a thunderstorm or you don't have no power outages in your area scheduled or whatever it may be. Just something to keep in mind. You want to make sure you have good continuous power to the system while this is happening. What are you going to need to be able to update your BIOS? Well, you're going to need two things. You're going to need your system up, put together and up to at least where you can get on the internet or have a laptop or tablet or something that are accept a USB drive that has internet access because you will have to download the nearest BIOS from the website. And then rather than that, all you're really going to need is a USB flash drive. I use these little cheapos that I bought some time ago. I think they came from China or something. So you don't really need any real fancy flash drive. After I show you how to get it done, I am going to run through some of the comments I have on my other videos on how to do this, some of the issues that they're having, and how to work around them issues. So without wasting a lot more of your time, let's flip you over here and I'll show you how to get this BIOS updated. Alright guys, to get started with this process, I've already got my, my flash drive inside the computer. We go down here, pull up your file folder here. It's, this is going to depend on your computer, this particular one that I'm using. It is going to be this USB drive E, it's going to be the flash drive that I need to put the BIOS onto. To start out with, you need to reformat this. You're going to right click on it, go up to format. I usually do the whole capacity of the hard drive. And you definitely want a FAT32. A lot of motherboard BIOSes can't read them unless it is a FAT32. So I always recommend doing a FAT32. We want to do a quick format. So you hit your start button and it gives you a warning. If you reformat this hard drive, all everything that's on the folder will be erased off the flash drive. So you want to make sure it's a good clean flash drive with nothing that you want to save. If there's anything on this flash drive you want to save, put it someplace else while you do this process. For me, it is a blank USB drive anyway, so I'm just going to click OK, reformat. That only takes a few seconds here. There we go. It is complete, so now our flash drive is able to get the BIOS file put onto it. Close out of this, go to your web browser. Me personally, I would use Google Chrome. You type in the motherboard that you have, which I've already looked this up. You, uh, you just type in the AS ASUS ROG Strix B650E-F Gaming Wi-Fi. And when you type this in, guys, Make sure you type it in as it is, as whatever your motherboard is. If yours don't have the dash F, make sure you don't put the dash F in it. Make sure if it's got Wi-Fi, you make sure you hit the one with Wi-Fi. If it don't have Wi-Fi, make sure it don't have Wi-Fi listed. Whatever your situation is, you want to make sure you hit the one that's exactly the way your motherboard box says, you know, this is what the motherboard is. Mine is the ASUS ROG Strix B650E-F Gaming Wi-Fi Motherboard, so we're going to click on it. Okay, and then you want to make sure you go to rog.asus.com Motherboards. Click on the top link. 
This will bring you up to the motherboard website. That gives you all the specs and all the goodies about it. Do not hit this support page. If you hit this support button, you will have to type in your motherboard name again. But since you already did that, there ain't no sense in redoing that. So you come down here and hit this support button. This will take you to the support page for this particular motherboard. You hit the support button. All right, make sure you're this right here. It's the same thing as how your motherboard is listed on the box. Go down here to driver and utilities. It says driver and tools. You got drivers and tools, which is it. This is also where you will get your motherboard drivers from. But we're interested in the BIOS today, so we're going to go to click on this BIOS and firmware. Okay, it says please click here to confirm the BIOS model name and then select the mode. Whenever you hit this, please choose. It should be the name of your motherboard again. And I've already checked the buyer's version on this computer, on this motherboard. And this one shipped with the 0613. So we will be taking up the latest version, which is 0821. If you're interested in what the buyer's update will actually do for you, down through here will tell you what each update does. And as these motherboards get a little bit older and new CPUs come out, you may need to watch because they may tell you you need to update to a certain BIOS level before going beyond that point or something like that. Just make sure you read all the notes and the BIOSes. And also on this BIOS page, it says if you're going to be using the flashback tool, which means you don't have a CPU or RAM installed into it, you have to use the BIOS rewriter tool to rewrite it to this name. But with the way I'm showing you today, we won't have to worry about that. We're going to take this latest one, which is going to be 0821. We're going to hit the download button. And so I'm going to put it on my desktop for some reason. We're going to put it in the downloads folder. We're going to hit save. We're going to go down here, click on this little arrow and hit the open. That way it opens it up. And it is a zip file. So you will have to extract them all. So you go to extract all. And when you come in here, instead of putting them back in your down, download folder, you want to browse, go down to your flash drive that you formatted and hit select this folder. Then you hit extract and extract all them files into that folder for you or onto your USB flash drive. All right, there it is. It's all in there that we need. It's in our drive E. Them should be the only files that we need. So we can close out all this. Now we need to get into the BIOS. A couple ways you can do this. You go down to your Windows button. You go up to Power. You can hit your Restart button and start tapping your Delete key. That's one way to get into your BIOS. The way I prefer to do it, go into Settings. Scroll down to Update and Security. Go into Recovery. You can go into this advanced start up, restart now, you hit the restart now button. When it restarts into this window, you go to troubleshooting, go to advanced options. Over here it says UEFI firmware settings. Click on that and hit the restart button, let it restart. That should take you into your BIOS. All right, here we go, we're on the BIOS page. If you want to know what BIOS version you're running, right here it tells you the name of the motherboard, and right here it tells you the BIOS version, which is 0 .0613, and we've gone up to 0 .0812, I believe is what it was. Now I'm not seeing an option here to be able to update the BIOS on this system, from this page at least. So we're going to go down here, you can hit F7, or click down here on Advanced Mode. You go over here and click Tool. And you got the ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility. Click on that. And it recognizes the flash drive. And it recognizes the file. Towards the end of the video, I'll get into if this don't show up, what to do and whatnot. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and select this flat file right here. And right here it says important notice. Please back up your 
BitLocker recovery key. I don't use BitLocker, so I don't have recovery key, so I don't have to worry about it. If you use BitLocker, you'll have to make sure you have that key backed up someplace else. The system will, really, the system will restart before updating the BIOS. I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. It says Easy Flash, do you want to read this file? And you hit yes. Then it says, do you really want to update the BIOS? And I'm gonna hit yes again. And it's starting to do what it needs to do. Just step back and let it do its thing. It will restart quite a few times in this process, which is perfectly normal. Just let it do its thing. There we go. Update was successful. System will be reset. Just let it reboot, let it do its thing. It will either throw us back into the BIOS or it will throw us straight into the Windows operating system. All right, there we go. It's rebooted. It says, please enter the setup to recover BIOS settings. So uh, to do that, it's usually up one and we should get back into the BIOS which is actually where you want to be anyways. Um, if it does throw you back on Windows, I always go in and make sure that the BIOS did take. As you can tell in today's video, it did take it. Now we are running BIOS version 0 0.0821. Okay, then you go down here, you can hit F10 on your keyboard, or you can go down here and hit the save and exit button down here, either way, and hit okay. Then when the system reboots, it should boot you back into Windows. All right, guys, there you go. The system is back into Windows. And you did finally, you did update your BIOS. So that's the way you get your BIOS updated on this motherboard. Let me get reset up here and I will come up with the conclusion of the video for you. So that's the way you get the BIOS updated on this particular motherboard. Some of the most common questions that I get on my other BIOS updating videos is stuff like, you know, well, the flash drive ain't being read, it ain't being seen by the BIOS, or the file ain't on the BIOS, on the flash drive. Seems a lot of them has to do with that particular instance when you go into the Easy Flash, and it, it, it either ain't reading the flash drive, or it ain't reading the file that's on the flash drive. There's quite a few things that could be causing this. Number one, it could be its flash drive itself. I don't know how to tell. Some flash drives can do this. Some flash drives seem not to be able to do this. So it may be the flash drive. It's also not being formatted right. If it ain't formatted in F32 or FAT32, it, a lot of times the buyers won't read it either. Some people say that it has to be at least an eight gig flash drive to be able to be formatted into FAT32, which I think it pretty well depends on the manufacturer of the flash drive, not so much the size of the flash drive. That's something to keep in mind. And when I was showing you how to download the BIOS from the website, I emphasized the fact of making sure it was the exact same name on the website it's on your motherboard box and that's another big issue you know if you got a wi-fi motherboard or you got a dash f motherboard you got a gaming motherboard you may not have the e motherboard whatever it may be you need to make sure when you're downloading the bios that it is exactly as it's shown on your motherboard box because if you got wi-fi or if you don't have wi-fi it's going to be two different bios you got to make sure it's exact match and a lot of times if you do download the wrong file and you put it in there, it ain't going to show up because it's the wrong file for the motherboard. You know, it's a safety feature built into the motherboard where it won't let you download the wrong BIOS onto it. And then there's also the fact that some people don't extract the files. You know, when they download it from the website, they throw it right onto the flash drive. Can't always do that. You need to extract the file, download the file, then extract it, extract the file, 
onto the flash drive. A lot of the buyers can't read it unless it's extracted. It won't recognize it inside the extracted format. So that's some of the more, more common problems that people have with this and some of the solutions that may actually help you if you run into one of these issues. I hope you found a little bit of helpful information in this video. There's some links in that description below that may interest you. Don't forget to do all that fun YouTube stuff. You all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.